Welcome back to Adventures in Reach. My name is Matt and I want you to get some air, to try something new and to build your confidence and creativity in the outdoors. Today, this is just a continuation of the sunfish camping uh, video. So part one, if you haven't caught that, was about the actual sailing and the journey to get here. And this is about the camp setup and kind of what you can carry on a sunfish. And if this video is uh, helpful or interesting or um, entertaining to you, then please hit the like and subscribe to the channel and uh, grow with me here. I just finished making dinner. So I'm able to obviously get a stove and and uh, you know, I've got my knife there. Thanks to my buddy Kevin. That thing's awesome. Super sharp. I got some stuff drying. Mainly what I was wearing. Uh, and, and part of that was from swimming. Part of that was just from the big waves. And then uh, I'm going to show you this. This this nylon Cedar Summit dry bag. It uh, It did well. I mean... It was in that back compartment. My tent was in it. The tent has wet spots on it, but it wasn't it wasn't soaked in there. But again, it's not the best dry bag I've used. Uh, this NRS bag here, you know, rubberized. That thing was floating in six inches of water in the cockpit, and I mean, for probably over an hour, and it's bone dry in there. Same thing with these uh, seal line Baja bags. Uh, these I've got two of those that were up front and they were getting pounded in waves and I mean It's just again bone dry in those things. I've got my couple bags of camera equipment uh, I've got this uh, flashlight here that can charge my camera as well You know my food bag and then over here. I've got my hammock So I was hanging out in here earlier and getting back in there shortly and this is a this is a Enos uh, hammock uh, these things are pretty sweet. They're 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 very comfortable. They're light. They pack up small and they're breathable. And then I've got this uh, Sierra Designs tent, and this thing. I actually got this thing for 50 bucks at a used gear store. So you don't have to spend a ton of money. Quality is good, but if you can get it, um, you know, as a, as used, then that's great too. And then uh, yeah, Thermarest, nice cushy, thick pad and. My uh, trusty North Face sleeping bag and got a pillow in there. So, you know, I, I'm I'm going to be comfortable tonight, and I've got everything I need. And like I said, it it easily fit on the sailboat with those two bags up front. And yeah, I had plenty of room to move around. It just wasn't a big deal. So you know, you think about it. If you can if you can camp with a kayak or um, you know something like that where it's pretty small volume. I mean You can you can strap things on the sailboat. The only issue is really if you drop the the sail down then You know your, the boom is now resting on your bag So you want to make sure that you don't have things that are going to break in those bags But generally not an issue when you're camping anyway so there is that it does also lead, you know add some weight to the front of the boat and so you know, some of the waves, it, it dives more than normal. Um, but, you know, if you have a second person on the boat, I would say it performs better than when you have a second person. So I wouldn't let that hold you back either. You know, just pack light and think small and take what you really need and you're, you're good to go. And really with what I've got here, I mean, if I didn't have my camera gear in the dry bag, I'd be able to pack another week's worth of food at least and you know, it wouldn't be any difference in terms of packing. So uh, anyway, I, I just really encourage you guys to, to get out there and try this stuff. And um, it doesn't doesn't take a ton. So hope that helps. And uh, we'll catch you next time.